Severin Winnick has locked lips with mega stars like Matthew McConaughey and Jason Priestley, but she's still a red carpet rookie. So where do you see us going? Tonight I see us going back to my place. Trip. <laughs> Whoa, huh? <gasps> You live with your parents? Is that a problem? Women everywhere envied Catherine Winnick. He's great to work with. Down to earth, Texas guy, and very good looking and great abs. We just had to ask, what was it like being under the sheets with Matthew? What's it like making out with the sexiest man alive? Is that what People Magazine has said? It's great. It must be Melody. Mm -hmm. Melissa. I didn't meet Matthew until I jumped into bed with him. So you're like, hi, I'm Catherine. Okay, let's just jump into bed with 200 people and try to do this very uncomfortable scene. Awkward, but we made the best of it and we laughed about it. We met up with Catherine on the boardwalk at Venice Beach, California. The Toronto native now lives in Los Angeles, but since she's a bit of a free spirit, Venice is where she likes to hang out. What do you think? Is it me? She may like to hang out in Venice, but these days she rarely has time. We caught her between scenes for a pilot for a new TV series. It's for Fox. It's, I guess you would pitch it as National Treasure meets Lost. You don't know anything. This week, she stars as a serial killer on Criminal Minds. You stupid, ungrateful. It's a fun one. It's a juicy one. I love that stuff. I love not the typical pretty girl next door. I can't stand that. I love roles that are meaty, that are strong and manipulative. That's why I became an actor. Catherine is a martial arts expert who started out in show business teaching actors all the right moves. Martial arts really help develop who I am. See, this is the life. While Catherine may feel at home in Venice, Venice will never compare to home. When you're in Toronto, the people are different. The values, and um, I come from a great family that I love, and I'm very fortunate, and I feel to them every day. <laughs> And this is the beautiful I'm Catherine Winnick. Catherine hello, Winnick. Hello. We're here at the Tribeca Film Festival for our film. Kiss Me Again. I think it's always tough when you, when you do a film, and especially with doing independent film, when right. everybody is so close. But they took care of us. But not even just that, just Morelli, like just, you know, how we got a chance to, it wasn't, we didn't have much of a, of a rehearsal process, really. It was more of getting to know each other and the getting best. to know each other's likes and dislikes as yeah. people. And that alone gave us enough of of a rapport and enough of a chemistry that we just got a chance to kind of do it when the scene came. Well, yeah. Isn't that the most difficult thing to do when you're shooting a movie to actually, well, you know, I mean, if the scene just to just to fill everybody in, some of the stuff that we do is there's there's some some intimate scenes, but in a totally PG no, 13. No, 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 this is a date movie. No, no, no. Totally PG 13. What first grabbed you about the script? It was originally called Julian and Chalice. Like and you played Chalice. Chalice. I played Chalice. And she's a woman who comes from a very Catholic, very um, straight up upbringing. And uh, her and her husband are the perfect couple. And then he wants to actually learn more about our relationships and explore different avenues. And that's by where I come in. you. I play Elena. She convinces Andrews. us to do. Um, they got to watch the movie. Yes, you have to watch the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Joining me now for a showbiz sit down, Justin Lewis and Catherine Winnick, who play Donald Trump I... and Trump's former wife, Ivana, in Trump Unauthorized. <laughs> Thanks for joining us here in showbiz Thank tonight. You Thank us. you for having So, us. before we get to chatting, yeah. especially with Ivana, she was so all about the clothes, the hair, you know, the jewelry. Everything from head to toe was suits and Chanel this and Gucci this. So yeah, she looked she looked fantastic. Old, yeah. So much fun. Did you guys? I think everybody will be surprised. You kind of see the behind the scenes. It's unauthorized. Donald did not write this, so you kind of right, right, right. you know get the real scoop what Donald and Ivana are really like. So now, did you feel at all? the sense of power that they have while you were making this? I mean, you know, you're getting a glimpse into their life. Did you did you start to get an understanding of what that power must feel like? We got to play billionaires. <laughs> it's like it was so much fun with the clothes and, and you know, you get a chance yeah, to. Yeah, I remember just going to my, you know, I, when I go home, I have a loft in the city. I, you know, just coming through the door. How you doing, Joe? <laughs> How are you? The hand was up. I just felt like, good morning. would be like, good morning, Mr. Trump. You know what I mean? Just, that, it was fun. It was fun. Do you see them differently now that you've played them? Oh, yeah. You know, I think, 
I think the public eye does not really got no no one got a chance to see what Yvonne is really like. She, Donald kind of took all the spotlight. <laughs> <laughs> he did, but I think this movie really shows um, the strength of Ivana and that she had a huge huge impact on on building the Trump empire and not just um, being a wife but a mother and a businesswoman and looking good doing it. You know, I think it was a combination. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly. Thank you, Catherine Winnick and Justin Lewis. And of course, Trump Unauthorized airs tonight on ABC. Hi, ET. It's Catherine. She's been in bed with Matthew McConaughey. You live with your parents? Is that a problem? And she's gone the distance with Jason Priestley. Thanks, Mr. Swackhammer. So it's hard to believe the Tribeca premiere of Kiss Me Again is Catherine's first walk down the red carpet. So we made sure she was positively pampered for her big day. Come on, fancy schmancy, look at this. And Catherine's Jimmy Choo shoes will look hot with these pedicured perfect toes. I haven't worn open toe shoes in six months and my toes were horrific. Ta-da! Okay, got the dress, hair. Let's go, we gotta go, I'm already late for my first red carpet. I always wonder now, so actors do Are get you nervous crazy? About... I get so nervous, I'm like, is this for real? I gotta knock on wood, I gotta find some wood here. <laughs> Before she has time to think, Catherine steps out into the frenzy of flashes. <laughs> hey, she looks like a natural to us. I think that's actually one of the reasons, you know, I've been attracted to, to this script and, and some of the other stuff, that you actually have, and there's, I think, more and more now that women are being more developed as right. character. Minorities, and I mean, I know that you get offered a lot more roles than I do, and now I'm getting... Are you, know, you crazy? You're I'm like, you're gorgeous, Miss Latina. No, I'm getting more stuff now than I did before, but I think it's because the industry's changing, and the people are now it's so totally. much more open to uh, new things, and um, I just like people. Real people, real stories, anything that makes you cry. Do you think the film could be set anywhere, or Brooklyn? Well, I think because the film takes place in Brooklyn. The, the film does take place in Brooklyn. I think that kind of is important for, for the movie. Oh, New York. Oh, come on. We got some New York. We got some beautiful stuff. Yeah. I love Nova York. Hello, Big Apple. Right. Can I tell you what you taught me? Absolutely. Can what I tell I you what you taught me? What? This girl. I have to tell you something about Morelli Taylor. Morelli Taylor, first time I met her, we actually met in Soho, or the Soho house. Yeah. The first time, she just, right away, she knew that we were going to have to be a tight family to make this movie work. And she was so amazing. This girl was so amazing by keeping everybody together and really just bringing the best things out of them. Thank you to Movie Phone. And thank you for watching, sending in your questions. Yes. Watch Kiss Me Again. Kiss Me Again, Tribeca Film Festival. Ciao.